Hello, can you guys see me? Still says, oh, I'm live now. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Long time no see. How are you guys doing? Ooh, you guys have posted a ton already. Okay, whoa, these are a ton of comments. Um, <laughs> hello, you guys. Nice to see you all. I hope you guys are all having a good day or a good night so far. If you guys are tuning in, let me know what your name is. Drop a hello and where you're from and what time it is where you're at. Right now in Takasaki, Japan, it is 12.01 p.m. More coffee. But um, yeah, I'm gonna say a couple hellos and then we can get this video started. Woo, Bebo's world. Let's go hunt, do, 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 do. Run away, In the, it's the end. Oh, don't mind. Yes, you are spamming. Oh, T says, oh my. <laughs> yes, spam, spam, so much spam. I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat spam. Oh, Snide.A says, I was being dumb and thought the live started at 10 a.m., but then I realized it starts at 10 p.m. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Ah. Hmm. Crystal Person says, woot, woot. It is time, it is time indeed. Cosmic Dust 86 says, what's up y'all, what's up? Hey, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Snyder says, I missed the last live because I was in the car for 10 hours. Whoa, 10 hours. Road trip maybe? Let's see. <laughs> oh, Lyric um, Rune Tree says, hey, hey. D Pink says it's 11 p.m. Ooh, so it's kind of late. Where are you at, Pink? Mm. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna read a little more, hold on. ZJ says, hi. Christopher Sin says, you have to leave like and come back, that's what I did. Telly Sally says, hi girl, hi. People's World says, I missed the live two live, I missed the live two times before because I was camping. Ooh, I was gonna say, it's like camping season, isn't it? I went camping last weekend, I'm sure you guys saw my video from like two days ago, I guess three days ago now, huh? Yeah, I went camping super nice. It's not like super hot yet. It's just like really wet. <laughs> but it was cool. It was nice. Let's see. Kennedy Holloway says, hello. I live in California. Hey, Kennedy. I'm guessing California it must be like, I'm going to say like 8 p.m. maybe? 8 or 9 p.m. maybe? Oh, Crystal Person says, hello. I'm, in Los I'm from Los Angeles and it's 8 p.m. Boom. Yeah, I'm originally from San Francisco, so I know the time pretty well. I can like get a sense of what it is really easily. Uh, Kira Local Muse says, hi from Minnesota, it's 10 p.m. Hey, Kira. Nice. All right, Hawaii, 501. 501, goodness gracious. Whoa, I skipped a ton of these. Where, where, where? I lost my spot. Oh, there you are. Hawaii, 501. All right, so. Hello everyone, thank you again for tuning into this video. And today we're going to be talking about Japanese gestures and body language. So for those of you who are actually interested in potentially coming here and having a connection, having like a real connection with Japanese people as far as like making friends or like, you know, finding a significant other, or if you already have like Japanese people that are close to you and you want to better understand them, I have this video prepared for things that I have noticed that they do that mean certain things that may not necessarily be first nature um, to like Westerners because some of the body language here is like the opposite of what it is in America. So I wanna talk about that today. And the first thing is bowing. So they bow a ton here. I mean, duh, they bow a ton here, but they do a lot of bowing in different degrees. You know, there's like the like 15 degree angle. There's like the 45, if you're really about that life. Um, and then there's the 90, of course. So there's bowing for different situations. You basically bow to everyone, people you know, people you don't know. And for people you don't know, usually it's just like a head nod. So 
yeah, <laughs> I call it an ag nod, like an acknowledgement nod, an ag nod. <laughs> so you nod to like acknowledge people, even if you don't say anything. It's very normal to to nod to people and to bow to people. Um, the second is yes and no. So if you're trying to say yes, um, I have it written down here. If you're trying to say yes, it's like you can give like your thumbs up or if you have like an okay, sometimes people do like this O with their arms to show like things are okay. And for no, people make an X with their hands or they can make an X with their fingers and that's also like no. Um, people do thumbs up a lot for like if you're affirming something, but do not do a thumbs down because the thumbs down is apparently like wishing death on someone. It's really bad and no one does it for a good reason. Um, so that's the yes and no. And that's some good coffee. So if you're gesturing to me, to yourself, a lot of people will use their index finger and point at their nose or like gesture to themselves. But a lot of the time they'll point at their nose and that just means that they're talking about themselves. And if they're talking about someone else or it's you, I guess, they won't point because pointing is rude. So don't point. They gesture with their hand open and say you. So that's another thing to be very careful of. Pointing is considered very rude. Like if you go, ah, like that's super rude. You gesture towards it or like kind of like, you know, like, you know, gesture towards it. Don't point though, because pointing is considered rude. Um, okay, the next one is the come hither. So, you know, in the West, we do like this thing, right? Or we do like, like come here, but in Japan, it's palm facing down and they gesture like this. So this is how they say like, come here. So there's this one time uh, we were doing this morning meeting with all the students, it was like assembly. And this one student was like running late and she didn't know where to sit. And I was just like, come here, come here. And then she like came super fast and then she sat where she was supposed to, but this is the come hither motion. So not this, this. Okay, and the next is sorry and excuse me. So sorry and excuse me use the same gesture and that is this. You put one hand in front of your face and usually you can like bow with it. And it's like, sorry, or like, oh, excuse me. And it, especially if you're in a crowd of people and you're trying to get through a crowd, just put one hand out and use kind of like a shark and like lead to where you're going. A lot of people in Tokyo do this because it's so crowded, right? You use one hand and you use it to weave through the crowd, like use it to lead you. And people will understand that. And I think that's also why there's, even though there's so much chaos, it's like controlled chaos in Tokyo. because a lot of people do understand a lot of body language that other people have so they can get by really easily. Mm. Mm. About this new sweetener, bomb diggity. Okay. The next one is confusion. So when people are confused or they don't understand what you're saying, most of the time they will tilt their head like this. And I feel like in the West, if you do something like this, people will understand that that means that you don't get what someone's trying to say, but they do it here a lot. So if I'm trying to say something or someone is saying something to me, in Japanese and I don't understand, I'll maybe say the word again and like tilt my head up and maybe like look up to the sky like I'm thinking. And that conveys to them that I don't get what you're saying. <laughs> and I use that like a ton. And sometimes in class, if there's a student who says something like, how do you say this in English? And I'll like, say the word again. And like, that'll let them know like, ah, oh, sensei doesn't know. Sensei, what are you doing? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's another very, very useful body language. Um, signal is that tilting of the head and a lot of people if they they'll go like like they'll kind of do like the sucking in of air motion like as they do it and that's like that basically means no <laughs> like they don't know if they do it but a lot of people like I don't know. like they'll be kind of confused and they'll you can tell by their body language but they'll do the head tilt they do the sucking in of the air and that is a big indicator that they really don't have an idea of what you're trying to say <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take a short recess and I'm gonna read more comments. Do, 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 do. Sorry, this thing scrolled on its own. Okay, Amanda Rivera says, hi, I'm Amanda. I'm from Arizona, it's 8.01. Hey, Amanda, 8.01, yep, on that Pacific Standard Time. 
Kira Leocomesis, hi from Minnesota, it's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. in Minnesota. Tyler Sally says, oh wait, I read that one already. Oops, sorry. <laughs> T-Pink says, Kentucky, USA, 11 p.m. All right, thank you for coming, even though it's late. I guess it's, I'm in the future. It's already Sunday morning, but I guess it's Saturday night for you guys, huh? Got so many fun plans, it's Saturday. Ooh. Let's see, Kevin Riddick says, hey, Kelvin to moshimasu. Ah, Kelvin. Yoroshiku. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Kelvin. Nice to meet you. Nia Moses says, hi, I'm Nia from Wisconsin, and it's 10.02 p.m. in Lake County, Illinois. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's late Saturday night for you guys. Yeah, we are already in Sunday. It's super sunny. I guess I can give you guys a sneak peek, huh? This is outside. Doo -doo -doo. It's like kind of cloudy. It was raining earlier. It's ooh, rainy season right now. So there's like a ton of moisture and humidity in the air. And yeah, my hair is going crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Hashtag curly hair struggles. Nappy hair woes, but that's all right. Let's see, Park Rose said, Yes. This is my first live with you. Oh, hello, Park. Welcome. Welcome to my live. Um, lives are a lot more chill than the videos themselves, a lot less structured. I do have a topic um, for you guys, and I like go to the topic, and then I go to the live feed, and then I go to the topic, and then live feed, and I go back and forth a lot. But thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you can make it. Let's see. Bebo's World says it's 8 p.m. for me in Arizona. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. A lot of people in Arizona, huh? All right. Let us continue. Okay. So, <laughs> anger. A gesture for anger in Japan is this. Two little horns on the side of your face. And people don't really do this. It's very, very childish. But that's what people do when they're angry. It's a symbol of, like, anger here. And for favors and forgiveness, you just put your hands in front of your face and you make your best I'm sorry face. And that's how people know that you're sorry. Um, also, if you're asking for something, you could be like, Onegaishimasu, which is like, please. And also, before people eat and after people eat, they say itadakimasu and gozo sama deshita, respectively. And they also do the same gesture. And that's like a, a symbol of humility or putting yourself below someone. And it also is like the body language of asking for something or saying please. And this is also something that I think is kind of similar to the U.S. and Western cultures. But this is like a big one for forgiveness and asking for, for favors. Next is when you're embarrassed. So when they are embarrassed, a lot of them do similar body language to the West as well. They look down. Usually you can kind of tell that they're like, they won't make eye contact with you. They're just kind of off to the side, maybe like hiding in their hair a little bit. But I noticed, especially with men, is that they'll like scratch the back of their head and like make this like goofy look. And that is like the, I guess, Japanese way of, embarrassment like we'll just kind of like scratch their head and be like even if they're not like scratching it they'll just like put their hand behind their head and that's like a sign that they're like you know embarrassed and that they're they're a little flustered they'll be like <laughs> like maybe with an awkward laugh accompanied with it and that's a sign of embarrassment to them um yes next is decisiveness or making a choice or deciding to move forward on something so when someone is really decisive or they've made a choice, they will put their fist in their palm like this, like literally just like this, like, oh, so this name. Or like, oh, I remembered something. That's another gesture they do for like when you remember something or if you've decided something or if you've made a choice. They do this a lot. And I've started doing that a lot, too. It's a gesture that I implement a lot into myself. It's also something that I see a lot of teachers do, too. Um, this gesture when you've, it's like Eureka, kind of. <laughs> um, all right, so moving on. The next one is counting. And counting, I've noticed, is pretty different from the U.S. So, you know, in the U.S. or in Western countries, we just do like the one, two, three, four, five, right? In Japan, they go kind of reverse. So this is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. And then this is five. 
And it's really weird to me. Like it's still taking some time for me to totally like digest it and like make it more natural. Um, there was this one time in class where we were singing the song. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I was counting like this and the students were so confused. They were all like, ah! <laughs> and I was like, oh snap, it's different. So yeah, in Japan, they count like one, two, three, four, five. So they count like this, okay? <laughs> Not like this, like this, okay? Not this, like this, okay? <laughs> so um, that's something to keep in mind when you're interacting with Japanese people and you wanna, you know, say like a number, they're like, oh, there's two of them, or like there's three, or like, oh yeah, there's five of them. That's how they like to count. So. Keep that in mind if you're trying to have a smooth conversation and you really want your partner to understand um, exactly how many you mean. Um, because, you know, conversations are only so much about words, right? A lot of it is based on how you look and how you, um, the gestures that you do, your facial expressions, and that body language as well. It's so important. Um, don't underestimate it. It's so important. Like, so important. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to read a little more and then we'll get back into the last couple ones that I have. <laughs> uh, Park Rose says, Bebo, I love bread box urine. What's that? Is that an anime? Maybe I skipped a little too much. <laughs> okay. Snyderay says, yeah, it was a road trip. Ah, I went to Georgia to visit my aunt who I haven't seen in about six years. Oh, that's nice. Let's go visit your aunt. Ooh. But 10 hours, 10 hours is not a joke. I do not travel very well. I am very impatient. I'm on the plane, like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Well, we're still trying to taxi. <laughs> I am not a good traveler. But yeah, that's nice, Georgia. I like Georgia. Also very humid, but, you know, I think that's just the South for you. Let's see. Continuing on. I think you guys are having a conversation with yourselves in here. I don't mind. I'm glad you guys can have a conversation. Um, Beeble's World says, hey, did y'all hear Kim Kardashian try to trademark the word kimono? <laughs> she tried. She tried it. <laughs> Keyword tried. She tried it. But, you know, it's hard to trademark something that is exclusive to a culture, especially Japanese culture. Like, nice to try. But anyway, Tylee Siley says, oh, that's cool. Let's see. Beeble's World says, live is laggy for me. Is it just me? Yeah, are you guys seeing me in real time? Like, are my words matching the movement of my lips right now? I don't know. Let's see. Hey, do they know the middle finger up? Oh, the middle finger up? Yeah, they, they know it. They definitely know it. Um, I feel like it's not something that's inherently Japanese, but because there is so much foreign media here, it's very common for people to like do it to people they know what it means they know they definitely know what it means um <laughs> also when you do this like hold your pinky up it apparently means like your wife or your significant other that's a female i did not know that until i looked it up but apparently that's what it means i have not seen this be used ever here in a conversation but it's apparently something that they do so now you guys know when in doubt, pinky out, that's bae. <laughs> okay, let's see, Bebo's role, Japanese people are pretty respectful. They are very respectful, so respectful. They are like respectful to the point of like passive aggression. <laughs> They're so passive aggressive. There are no like real genuine like confrontational people here. They're all passive aggressive because it's like so respectful and if you are going to be mad at someone, all you do is shade them. Shade is the way here, okay? So try not to be like, oh, she had this, she had that. Like, no, just be shady. Like, oh, her shoes didn't match her dress. And that's the way they shade people. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Beeple's World says, they don't really use that. I'm sure they know how what what that is though. Let's see. P. Herman says, oh, P. Herman 40. Oh no, it's P. Sherman 42. I'll be wasted me. I'm thinking finding Nemo. But P. Herman says, 
but they know, okay, he's a jerk if you show it. I'm not sure the context of that statement. I might have to look back in the previous live feeds. I have no idea. Let's see. <laughs> Pete Herman says, ooh, German. Germany? 5, 10 a.m. Good morning. Good morning to you as well. Wait, that means you're also in the future. We're in the same day. Yay. Let's see. Here are the muses. How do you learn all of these? Do you have any stories of learning because you, like, did the wrong thing? Yes, so many stories. Um, a lot of these that I've learned is like monkey see, monkey do. So I'll see someone do it and then I'll kind of understand through the context and through like what the conversation was about, what the gesture means. But I have made so many mistakes, A, like the counting mistake with my students and then they were all confused and I was like, mm, maybe I should just put my hands down. So that's happened before. And then there was this one time I was trying to communicate to another teacher and I was like, no, it's totally okay. But this means like, no, as in it's not okay. So like he looked confused when I did that. And I was like, oh, I should like watch what I'm doing with myself when I say things. So yeah, there's definitely been times where I've done a gesture and it doesn't match with my voice or like what I'm saying. And then they're all just like, eh? <laughs> confused, like the confused gesture. So yeah, there's so many stories, more than I can count, more than I choose to remember. But, but yeah, if you follow these, and match the gestures up to what you're saying um, and your tone of voice, of course, then you will definitely have a lot smoother of a conversation. So definitely be careful with what you're doing with your body when you say things. Let's see. Um, Amano ILA says, love your curls. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm back to curly hair. You guys know I change my hair like all the time. I love changing my hair. I change my hair like I change my outfits. You guys, I'm so picky with my channel. I, like, don't like wearing the same outfit twice. I'm that girl. I'm just like, I haven't worn this sweater before. It's kind of warm, but I haven't worn it before. So it's like, let me just put it on the live. <laughs> Pinky up. Wife. <laughs> uh, I really do like teaching you guys these things. Because if you don't learn them, you kind of have to learn by, you know, trial and error. So I prefer to, like, show you guys what these things mean so that you guys can have a better... Um, a better, faster, smoother learning experience as far as the gestures go. I think my coffee is actually slightly too sweet. Darn. Oh yeah, also in Japan, like darn, like damn it. <laughs> that kind of thing doesn't exist. Uh, I think that my students are understanding what it means because I do it at certain times so they're getting it, but this kind of like thing that I just did, yeah, they don't get that. <laughs> okay, continuing on, let's see. Ooh, affirmative versus money. Okay, affirmative. This is like, okay, or like, roger that, or like, got it, or like, we good, right? But you flip it, and this is money. This means money, not this. I tried to do this. No one understood what that was. I was like, how do you not know what this is? I was like, my name. They were like, eh? And I was like, what? Ah, they don't get it. So this is okay, and this is money. This is money, this is also money. Just as long as you're holding it with your palm up, money. Because, you know, in Japan, the, there's a lot of coins. They have like the, I guess, Equivalent to USD, there's like a five cent coin, a one dollar coin, and a five dollar coin. So there's a lot of coins being exchanged on a daily basis. So this is money. If you're talking about I need money, that's what you do. Not I need money. No, I need money. Okay. <laughs> so this is the money gesture. So keep that in mind if you're like, you know, talking to somebody and you're trying to talk about, you know, funds or bills or something around, you know, that that cash, the yens, you know. This is the gesture to use, okay? And next is challenge accepted. Ooh, challenge accepted. So challenge accepted embodied is your palm to your fist. Your, not your fist, what is this? To your muscle. So if you do this, that's like you, this is the gesture for hard work or like, you're gonna take on the challenge or 
you know, like basically just like strength in general. Like you hold up your fist and put your, your hand on your, um, is this your tricep? This is your bicep, isn't it? I'm so not good at this. <laughs> but that's the gesture for, you know, challenge accepted or hard work. And that's what they use here. And I use it all the time now. They're like, oh my gosh, Deidre, you're so good at Japanese. I'm like, mm, not really. Kanji is hard, but I do my best. Like something like that is how I'd use it. And so that's a way to use it too. All right. Ooh, continuing on mocking. When you're mocking someone, when you're trying to make fun of them, when you're trying to like tease them, what you do, take this pinky finger here, huh? Show the bottom of your eye and go, bleh. <laughs> it's super childish, super childish to do that. But it's like so easily understood that if you're just like, like really quick to someone, they'll know like, ah, oh, she's teasing me or like she's mocking me. They'll be like, <laughs> it's so funny. There's so many funny stories I have about this, but like with first graders, especially, they'll be like, and that's like the way to tease someone um, gesture wise. I actually, when I was younger, I was, well, I still kind of am like in love with Sonic the Hedgehog. And there's this movie, like the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And he was like, you know, like, teasing Dr. Robotnik and he was like Bleh. and I didn't understand what that meant and I was just like oh wait like now I know it means that you're teasing because it's like a Japanese a Japanese franchise right <laughs> but yeah so that's another one if you're trying to tease someone in Japan or you have a Japanese friend and you're like I got a better grade than you <laughs> I feel like they would appreciate that because that's what well, the thing is with a lot of these gestures is that it's more it's so deeply ingrained that you don't even have to say anything and it elicits a response. So definitely use that to your advantage because if you're trying to get something across and you can't really speak Japanese that well, just throw a gesture out there and they'll know what it means. Because if you do this, it's like, no. Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you guys is that this, you know, in America or in Western cultures, if you do this, it means smelly, right? It means smelly. But in Japan, it also means smelly but it also means no, like no, like you're going to pass on something. Usually if someone offers you something and you just go like, oh, thank you, like no. So that's another useful gesture, another extremely useful one. People use it all the time, but it also means smelly. So it depends on the context, but it's another really useful one that I highly suggest learning because people use it here like literally every day. Like every day, if I meet someone, if I'm gonna be a loner like today where I'm not gonna like leave my house, then maybe I won't see it. But if I go out to like the supermarket or to the convenience store or I don't know, like meet with a Japanese friend, they do this all the time. Like, no. I'll be like, are you tired of like, like stuff like that. Um, so people use it all the time. I'm gonna read more of these comments too. So hold on a second. Uh, I just skipped. Oh, here we are. Do read that already. Oh, coffee time. P. Herman says, anime is a good source to learn gestures. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is a great way to learn. That's how I first started learning too. I would just watch a bunch of anime and I didn't even realize I was learning, but just by watching it and seeing how they interact with each other based on certain situations, you can, you can get what they're trying to say. And that's a good way to get introduced to it. Tyler, Tyler, yes, just like anime. Let's see, Alana Edwards says, I thought these things only exist in anime. Oh no, anime, anime. I wanna make a video on this. I wanna make a, a video on the things that anime got right. If you guys are curious, please let me know that that's something you'd be interested in filming. Cause it's, it's an idea that I have. I want to make it cause I think it'd be fun, at least for me. Cause I, like I mentioned, I watch a ton of anime anime or I watched a lot of anime so I know um you know that there are some exaggerations but the reality of it is anime is just like exaggerated reality there are things that do happen like all the time here that are like it feels like I'm living in an anime sometimes like I am like the main character of like some kooky anime about like this English teacher in Japan 
because some of the stuff is actually accurate. It does happen. Like, it really does. All right, reading more. Let's see. Beeble's World says, I've seen a lot of anime where these gestures are used. Kira Leo Camus says, is anyone else's video choppy? Is the video choppy? I hope it's not. Sorry, we're already like 30 minutes in. But, um, yeah, I can, I speak really quickly. Maybe I should slow it down a little bit. <gasps> Mine is as well. Gasp. Is it my Wi-Fi? I have no idea. How's my connection? I've got all my bars. I wonder why. I'm sorry, you guys, if you can't hear me very well, or if you can't see me, or if it looks like I'm trying to say something and that doesn't match. Um, let's see. Just count how many fingers you're putting down, Lady Hokage. Yes, yes. That's the gist. Amano ILA says, same. I thought it was only an anime. Nope, it's a Japanese thing. Let me scroll down further as well. Do, do, do. Alana Edwards says it's 11.17 p.m. in North Carolina. North Carolina. I've got some family up there. Yeah, it sounds about right. It's like nighttime, basically almost midnight, huh? Darren Dang says, for me, this video is laggy and the video quality is not as good as it usually is. I wonder why. I don't know. It was super stormy earlier, so I wonder if it's the weather affecting it. But everything else is the same as it usually is. I'm in my same spot, same time usually same wi-fi i'm not sure i'm really sorry i'll have to look at this video after um it's posted to my channel i'll have to review it again try and think of why it might be acting so strangely but i'm really sorry about that you guys i'm sorry i hope that you guys can still enjoy it even though it's kind of awkward now let's see yeah quality suck gasp oh it sucks okay Lady Hokage, OMG, I would go insane if I had to travel with you. Are we there yet? Um, no, sit in the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a terrible person to travel. I do not travel well. Like, I love traveling. Like, I love going to new places, seeing new things, trying new food, meeting new people. But, like, the process of getting to a new place is, like, torture. Like, I like planes, but I hate flying. <laughs> Like any turbulence, and I'm like there, like saying my prayers, holding onto both seats. I'm not a good traveler. I don't travel well. Driving, I'm an impatient driver. I'm like that, are we there yet kind of person. Mm -mm. I'm not the best to travel with, but. But yeah, I don't really travel that much these days, so it's not too bad. But I am going to be going to Osaka, not next weekend, but the weekend afterwards. And my phone is dead and my charger won't work. So I don't have a phone. All I have is my laptop. But hopefully if I can get everything squared away by then, I'll have a video for you guys on, you know, my little trip to Osaka. And maybe I'll show you guys just how terribly I travel. I'll do like a little vlog of me on the bus, trying to pull my hair out, <laughs> clawing at the window, like, get me out of here. Okay. I'm gonna continue on. Okay, let's see. I can't even read my own handwriting. Oh, success and photos. So the symbol for success or the go-to gesture for photos is peace. You guessed it, the peace symbol. The peace symbol is like the go-to symbol for um, when you're taking pictures, people say peace. Hi, cheese, and everyone's gonna go peace. Or if you recently did something really good, they're like, oh my gosh, you just did this test and you did super well. You're like, <laughs> like you don't even have to say anything, just like a little piece is like a symbol for success that everything went according to plan. And the last gesture that I have on this list is deep contemplation. So when someone is in deep contemplation, usually what they'll do is they'll cross their arms. Yeah, that's basically it. They'll just cross their arms to show that they're like thinking about something really deeply. And, um, you know, in America, when people do like this, it usually shows that they're trying to like shut you out or like create some distance. It's a sign of discomfort in their situation. But here in Japan, I mean, the same thing exists. People do this to like kind of make themselves small. You know, it's a psychological thing. But they also do it when they're really thinking. And it's also, I think, <clears throat> personally, that it's them trying to distance themselves to go into their own mind and consider 
what you've said to them. So people do this a lot too. But that is deep contemplation. And the last thing that I have on my list as far as gestures go. So if you guys have any questions, we're gonna end this video a little early today. I'm thinking maybe another like six minutes or so, end it at 40 minutes. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them at me. Also, update, um, the J intro giveaway is in full swing. If you guys are interested, please look at the previous video that I posted that has giveaway announcement on it with like the background of like all the Japanese snacks. And I talk about all the details that you guys will need to know for the entry portion of the giveaway. And also in the description box, I posted a written version of what you need to do. So if you are interested in going in there, please do so. And the deadline is July 31st. So the last day of next month, tomorrow, for me. My birthday's on the second, you guys. My birthday's coming up. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't even know what I'm gonna do though, honestly. Um, I took the time off of work. So, cause I just, I don't wanna be at school for my birthday. I've always been a summer baby. So even as a kid, I never had the experience of like having all those cupcakes in school for someone's birthday. I never had that and I don't really need it, but I've never been at school for my birthday and I don't want to start now. So I'm going to take the day off and I'm going to chill, sleep in, um, cook myself something nice, or maybe I'll go to a restaurant or something. But, but yeah, anyway, got off topic. I'm going to read more of these comments now. Do, do, do. Oh, word 789 says, hey, what up, what up, konnichiwa. Mm. Tyrese Cooper says, bro, it's 10.21 p.m. to me. 10.21? That sounds like Midwest? Darren Dang, if people are passive, aggressive, and beat around the bush, how do you make up with them? Well, I will say, people don't really get in fights like that here, like, like really, really big squabbles. People, I'd say that a lot of the, the way that the culture is set up, people don't really take offense with a lot of things and people don't, yeah, they don't take a lot of stuff personally. There is a big culture of like group think, like people are usually on the same page with a lot of things. So there's people a lot of the time don't have a lot of opinions that they express that are different from what everyone else is thinking. So naturally people aren't going to be like in a position where they could potentially fight. But when people are upset, usually the pressure is on the person who is upset to get over it or the other person to know the other person, what the other person might be thinking and try and steer them away from being upset. There's a lot of like, you know, between the lines that goes on with, as far as people interacting with one another. But yeah, I I don't know, actually. I haven't gotten in a fight with anyone like that here. So I don't really know how they'd handle it. But people don't really fight because people, fighting is like not Japanese. So people don't really get in squabbles like that. Crystal Park says, I made it for the live on G. Yay, welcome. Let's see, word 789, you're teaching in Japan? Yes, I am an English teacher. I have been here for 11 months and I am teaching for one more month and then I am no longer a teacher. Whoop, whoop. Well, it's like a whoop whoop. It's like bittersweet. <laughs> Sunflower Buddha says, thank you. Ooh, Chloe Ray of Shun, uh, Chloe Ray of Sunshine says, hi, hi, welcome. Let's see. Chloe Ray Sunshine says, I want to visit Japan for a few months next summer. Are there any short-term jobs I could do in Japan for a few months? Let's see, short-term jobs. Hmm, short-term jobs, not totally sure. I'd say there's always like part-time jobs if you wanna work at like a convenience store or if you want to work at like an English cafe. Or you could be a teacher. 
I'd say being an English teacher is the easiest way to get to Japan if you're interested in coming here. So I don't know. You might have to do some research on that. I am planning on making a video on how to get a job in Japan that's not English teaching related. So that will be coming up. So stay tuned. But yeah, you might have to do some research. Go on like gaijinpot.com or another um, foreigner in Japan connections type website like that and see what job postings there are and what their restrictions are. But there are a lot of fun jobs here in Japan. There's something called Peace Boat, which is basically where you go on a boat for like three months at sea and you just travel around the world and teach people English. And that's like a Japanese company. So really interesting. So there's a lot of like odd jobs like that if you're interested. But anyway, woo, time has come. Okay, so I'm going to be, ooh, I'm going to be leaving very soon. If you guys are, um, if you guys are going to be leaving, say goodbye. I'm going to end this video really soon, but I'm going to read the last of these comments, okay? People's World Japanese Sign Language. Yep, basically, could you say baka in a silly way, like baka? <laughs> P. Herman says. Um, yes, there are ways to say baka and to make it sound like cute or like kind of like a pet. I don't want to say pet name, but like a, a very like cutesy way to say baka. People just go baka or like something like that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's ways to do that. Let's see. Kira Lokomi says, true story. My favorite anime kid doing that joking gesture is Momiji from Fruits Basket. Yes. The <laughs> yes. It's like, oh, yeah. Momiji is like a typical childish little blonde haired kid. Let's see. Enzo Snopes says, don't use Omaya. Oh it's really rude. Oh, yeah. Um, it's not really a gesture, but yeah, saying Omaya oh is like you, mofo, <laughs> for lack of better terms. Don't say it unless you're trying to offend someone or like let them know that you're pissed at them. Like I've heard teachers say that at a student and I was like, woo! Do, 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 do. Like, I was like, whoa, okay. That wasn't called for, but damn. Um, yeah, so it's offensive. Don't do don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Let's see. P. Herman says my favorite character too, but it's Mitsu Mitsuba from Mitsu Domoe. I haven't seen that anime before. Tyler Siley says, okay, girl, I have to go bye. Bye. Uh, Pierman says, oh, by the way, do you know Mitsu Dome? I have I don't know Mitsu Dome. I haven't seen it. What's it about? Snyder Ray says, if that road is curvy and bumpy, I get sick, so I don't. I usually don't travel. Yeah, I I have motion sickness. I can't read, but like on a plane or in a car, because I just get sick to my stomach. Mm -mm. I'm not very good. Mark Mark says, wait, I'm dumb, but are you Blasian? No, I am fully black, African American, non ambiguous African. Yes, I'm very black. I just like Japanese culture. I don't think I look Blasian though. I think I look very black. I I feel like people only really ask if I'm black because when they know about my like culture, they're like, "Do you have Japanese ancestry?" I'm like, "No, I'm just crazy." <laughs> I said it so weird when I said it. Anyway, Kira Lyrical Muse says, "Happy early birthday!" Thank you. People's World says, "Who? Happy early birthday! 24 years old, eh? Yep, turning 24." Pew, pew, pew. P. Herman says, "Nah, she a Yankee. She is a Yankee." conspiracies, conspiracies. I have beliefs about her. Alana Edwards says, what are some assumptions that people in Japan have about America? People think that all Americans are white. Well, they're starting to like change that idea now, but um, if you're white, you're like American. And so if you're like Australian or from New Zealand or from anywhere in Europe, like chances are they'll just assume you're American. They assume that like all white people are American. And they assume that, what is it? Black people are like good at sports and we're good at singing. They just assume that. Um, not necessarily like a bad stereotype, but they do like stereotype that. Yep. <laughs> Let's see, are you fluent in Japanese? Um, define fluent. Let's see, a lot of words. Oh, that's a conversation to her. Sorry, Nimoza says, how does it get there in Japan during the summer? I hear it's really hot. It's really hot. It's hot and it's humid. It depends on where you are, but most of Japan is hot and humid. People's World says, is anata la rude or not? Um, let's see. Anata is like, it's more casual. I'd say in Japan, it's more common to like use someone's name. I know it's really weird to like talk in the third person when you're with someone else. Like if I'm with someone named Greg, 
I'm like, hey, um, what kind of color does Greg like? Like, that seems weird in English, but like, Greg no ichiban suki na iroa. Like, in Japanese, it's very natural. So, anata is like, if you're cool with them, like, not even necessarily cool, but if you're like on a, like a, a casual, um, like a casual atmosphere with them, using anata is cool, but you don't want to use it with someone that you don't really know like that because it, it can be considered as like kind of rude. But if you're a foreigner, you get passes on a lot of like the things that would be considered rude. So I would say to be safe, don't use it. Just use their name, Ensan. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to end this live now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And you guys, please enter in this giveaway that I have because um, it's going to be a really, really big box this time. I'm going to bring a lot of goodies because I'm coming to America. So I'll be bringing a lot of stuff. So if you guys are interested, please apply. And thank you guys for tuning into this video. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm planning a live on my birthday, which is in two days. So you guys will get another live. So I'll see you guys very, very soon. So have a good day or a good night. And I'll see you in two days. All right. Bye.